I'm really young. My parents initially didn't really like me going to the arcades. But when they realized that whenever they give me to go arcade, then I will actually have good results. So that became a trade-off. Shin with that super build up. One touch is gonna oh. be it! In a super! And Shin yeah. has taken it! It's Shin! I was really shocked by how many people were happier than me when I won. It didn't really give me a great feeling that I thought I would have had winning the World Championship. I just more worry about what am I going to do next. When Razer gave me a contract consisting of a salary and a trip, that would be the time that I really call myself a pro gamer. I feel that I have already done what I wanted to do. Now I want to bring the young talents that are really good in games to the right path. I see a shadow of myself in them. So I actually do qualifiers every month to send people around to different countries. I just want to make sure they have the chance to travel and compete. It's not a big amount of money. I just do this out of passion. He's actually grooming the next generation of younger Singaporeans to go out and compete, mentoring them and teaching them the ways of the world. Having a core group of players that are really good against each other, training, that's the way to move forward. I feel really happy that I can just stay in my country and have these pros coming. I feel that last time, this is something not really made possible. I feel that winning in my own country as my own Singaporeans cheering on me is a very great feeling. CN is the pioneer in terms of the esports scene. He's helped put Singapore on the map. Gamers spend a lot of time following their passion. They do things they like and I feel life is about passion. Believing in yourself is something really important to become a pro gamer. A Singaporean has did it, you can do it too.